This is the 1997 Land Rover Defender 90. It has simple front look with pretty decent size circular headlight with small circular headlight of indicator. This is the this is the only Defender model with an automatic transmission compared to a previous generation. This Defender comes with 182 horsepower of 4 liter V8 engine with 4 speed automatic transmission. Now looking at the side of the Defender, it has 15 inch wheels with normal door handle. This Defender also has Alpine side windows. Now looking at the back of the Land Rover Defender, there is a latch behind the spare tire which is mounted on the door. Just pull the latch and you are in. It reveals the cargo area with 4 jump seat about 6 people total. Just uh, then just remove the uh, remove the latch and your seat is down. This def this defender also has pretty simple look, having three tail lights of uh, turn signal, uh, brake light, and here's the look at the defender door panel. While while climbing up inside this defender, we can see that the seat has manual adjustment with manual adjusting steering wheel and two pedals which is of acceleration and braking this defender has a pretty simple steering wheel with no complicated buttons while on left side the steering wheel has climate control lever along with turn signal and horn and high beam the gauge cluster has a speedometer in both system which is of miles and kilometer with it has some like it has some lights of uh, oil check like battery turn signal and other down here is of a uh, forward wheel uh, forward drive system transfer case lever which can go between high and low behind that there is a gear shift lever as this defender comes with automatic transmission it has gear like Park, neutral, drive, pretty much simple. Now speaking of inside, we have your rear defroster and the controls for the rear wiper with front window switches. Below this button, there is another row of button which includes hazard light. Where in beside hazard light button, there is analog switch, analog clock, uh, which is another details of making this car luxury. Beside its rough terrain use, you have. Two air events for passenger along with a grab handle and glove box. The air conditioning unit is separate unit from the normal uh, normal heating ventilation control with fans and temperature knobs. So, so this was my review on 1997 Land Rover Defender. Now let's take a look at a new Defender which is 2020 Defender 90. Okay, so talking of the new Defender, it is the Defender which is inspired from its previous generation of Boxy looks. The car comes with elegant front grille included by Matrix headlight with adaptive driving beam. The Defender has two models that is 90 and 110. Taking talking about 90 engine specification, it has two variants in both diesel and petrol. In diesel, there is D200 and D240. The D200 has 200 horsepower with 430 newton meter of torque, and the D240 has 240 horsepower with 430 newton meter of torque. The both model comes with automatic transmission. Speaking of uh, petrol engine, it is it has two variants of P300 and P400 MHEV, that is mild hybrid electric vehicle. The P300 has 300 horsepower with 400 newton meter of torque, and P400 has 400 horsepower with 550 newton meter of torque. The Defender comes with standard 18 inch wheels of 22 inch alloy wheels. 18-inch uh, steel wheels with 22-inch alloy wheels. There can be many different attachment mounting on the roof that could be attached on Defender. The coil spring suspension system combines double wishbones at front with an advan advanced multi-link rear suspension to create a agile and responsive chassis. A comfortable and capable driving is ensured by electronic air suspension. Select from an axis height of 40 mm below normal ride height to an extended height up to 75 mm. For further extreme off-road condition, a further extended ride height of 70 mm is available, making total adjusting height of 145 mm. Speaking of rear, the rear door is a rear door is side hinged because the spare wheel is attached to it. You may have noticed that there is, there are eight square tail tail lamps, but why to put 
8 tell it instead of 4 you can do that the reason is that they wanted a old defender look because of that there are two small tail light on each side the vehicle can tow up to 3.5 ton you can have three options of your roof that is folding fabric roof sliding panoramic roof fixed metal roof this vehicle can wade up to 900 mm depth of water now now taking a look at inside the dashboard has 12.3 inches of infotainment system display with finish in high quality rubber like material having rugged look the gear lever has that position because of other configuration that you can have will while take about will talk about it later and also you can have enough leg room for three passenger as you can see the dashboard is hollow so that you can keep your stuff while you are on your adventure while again inspired by its predecessor see the steering wheel of the defender which has a defender badge in chrome with few control button for different adjustments this button gets disappeared as the car is turned off making uninterrupted loop it has also heads up display in that it includes inclination of vehicle and the speed of the vehicle you can also have different configuration for front row passenger that as i have said that is cabin walk through front jump seat center console with armrest with, with the help of rear camera you can now have towing view of your vehicle with the help of meridian sound system you can enjoy your ride while listening song you can adjust your seat ventilation from center infotainment system you can have access weight sensing from also from infotainment system it has clear side ground view help to avoid any obstacles with clearly positioned camera which lets you see through the bonnet you have a clear view of your car with 360 degree camera which is feature which helps you in parking in a tight space or for not able to which, which you have don't clear view you also have center controls in here you have two dials when twist them they control your climate control when you push the dial you can turn your heated seat when you push the fan button in the middle of the two dial then the right dial control fan speed when you push the top left dial control your off road program you have different places for your storage you can also have wireless phone charging top of uh, on top of your he head there is a hidden storage where you can put your glasses in there your rear view mirror also acts as a screen for rear camera in case your view is blocked by your luggage that camera is mounted on top of your vehicle and you can switch between a mirror and screen speaking of rear center console you are four charging ports and ac vents and behind the back of front seats some storage space too now speaking of door panel it has simple look with door unlock latch and some storage but there is one interesting button that consists of blind spot monitor while you are opening the door when someone is near to your door you also have some storage in your door panel and the that button blinks in case you may get accident or like you may have some incident besides sunroof uh, you have also alpine windows which helps you in having more beautiful view speaking of the rear the rear door also has some storage space with charging ports and with some other storage stuff also so this was my review on 2020 defender 90 and thank you